Look, hi, I'm Liliano back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take what I think is high res pics on Second Life. If you guys have been, at, what the hell is going on? Anyway, you guys have been asking me how do I take my pics for Flickr, even though I don't post on Flickr that much, I really should post more. But how do I take my pictures for my thumbnails or just high res pics in general on Second Life? Um, don't mind my avatar when I first loaded all my clothes were like sideways and discombobulated and my body wasn't even showing so I had to reset to the um default uh, avatar and then put my outfit back on this is why you save your outfit every time you make them on second life because stuff like this happens and it's really tedious to have to go back into your inventory and put everything back on piece by piece by piece so you need to save your outfits every time you make them on second life um yeah i'm not entirely sure if the way that i take pics or my pictures on second life is qualified as high res um because i've seen people take pictures for second life that are a lot clearer than mine and i don't know if that's due to sir 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 how long you gonna stand here hello Anyway, so yeah, I've seen people take pictures that are a lot clearer than mine and I don't know if that's just due to the fact that their screens are bigger or their graphics cards are better than mine. Um, those could be the two factors. Like, so if your screen is larger, you're gonna get a clearer picture. And also if your graphics card is like, I don't really know how graphic graphics cards work. But I know the better graphics card you have, the clearer your images are going to come out. So, um, that's why you see when people play Second Life or Iron View or Sims, stuff like that. 3D, like games that are in 3D and it's super, super clear. They usually have a really good graphics card or they have a bigger screen. And I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, first thing is we are going to go to, if you have like a, what is this thing called a f like a menu thing for your head you're gonna wanna or your body I really don't know what this is this is for my head okay so you're gonna um, click the pose thing I don't know what it's called it just makes you stand still and you're gonna click that to make your avatar stand still now that was just a test picture so I usually like to find a good angle and zoom in and make sure everything looks right and then take a test picture so what I'm doing right now, I'm just finding a, like a facial expression. And if you ask me how I get my avatar to make facial expressions, it's from this little drop down menu for your head. Um, most heads should come with it. It's like a HUD for your head, something like that. Um, and it has all these different facial expressions that you can make. Um, it's like an AO for your face. So usually they move a lot, but if you press pause, it'll just hold that expression. So that's how I do that. Um, yeah, so I usually just find, if if I want my avatar to make a facial expression, I usually come here, find the expression, then I take the picture. So you can see the facial expression comes out in the picture. I didn't really like that pic, so I took it off. Um, I'm just trying out more expressions. Why I tried all these? I don't know why because I, I really wasn't going to use them, but just for sample pictures, I guess. So I usually take my height, height and width at 1280 by 720 because most of the pictures, aw, she's so cute. Most of the pictures that I take for Second Life, I use for thumbnails. So I just keep my dimensions at 1280 by 720 just to make it easier on myself so I don't have to scale anything or change the size of anything when I'm, I'm making my thumbnail. I usually have to make them smaller because they usually fit but you guys know that my thumbnails usually incorporate like more than one picture so I usually have to make them smaller but like just keeping it at 1280 by 720 is easier. Oh, I forgot to say, obviously, how do you take a pic? You're going to click, if you have Firestorm, you're going to click the camera icon down at the bottom. And it will um, automatically take the pic. And obviously, I use the camera controls to find angles and do 
all type of other stuff. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm confusing myself. I hope you guys are following this. So, usually if I want to take a basic picture, I'll just take the picture in that sandbox that I was in. But if I want to take a picture with an actual, like, cute background, I come here to Backdrop City. Or is it? Is it Black? Black. <laughs> backdrop City. And basically, Backdrop City is a place where you have like a whole bunch of backgrounds so but it's not like just like um flat backgrounds it's like 3d backgrounds so you have space to walk around and move and stuff and they have all type of backgrounds like tumblr backgrounds instagram neon pink cities bedrooms all type of stuff outdoors pretty much any type of background you could want they have it so I decided to use the luxurious scenes since I've never been here before. I usually always go to Tumblr um, backgrounds, Insta backgrounds, and bedrooms. Oh, and neon. You guys know I always go to neon. So I usually go to Tumblr, Insta, neon, and bedroom. So this is my first time using the luxurious backgrounds because I wanted to try something that I haven't tried before for the purposes of the video. And as you're going to see in a second. I'm gonna try to get my avatar up these stairs and she's gonna fall well not fall fall but like she's just gonna go to the bottom and I don't know why this happens if you're a more experienced um, second life player and you know why this happens please explain it to me because I don't know why when I try to go up objects she falls um, I don't know so what I do to come you see you see so what I do to combat this is I just um changed her hover height like I push her hover height all the way up so what hover height does obviously make you higher so now it looks like she's on the stairs um if there's a way for you to like climb stairs or like do things without changing the hover height and like actually stay on it please let me know but yeah so that's what I did and here we are on the stairs I really like this wall it's like gold or whatever anyway so what I'm gonna do is find a pose that I like in my inventory. I have a couple of poses. Um, I really need to organize my inventory as I said before. I still haven't organized it so I just type in the word pose to bring up all the poses that I have. And usually what I do is I just um, try out all the poses because I, I don't know what they are by name. I really don't. So I just try out a bunch of them till I find one that's like to my liking. And then when I find the one that's to my liking that's when I do everything else so I'm just looking through all my poses Mila has really I, oh god is that how you say it? I hope so Mila Mia, Mila <laughs> Mila has really good poses I also got my eyelashes from Mila so they're pretty decent I have a lot of Mila poses a lot as you can clearly see so once you find your pose you're just gonna turn your avatar to face the direction that you want them to face and next thing you're gonna do is change the lighting so the lighting on this oh well obviously I'm changing her hover height because she was too high but the lighting on uh, in this place was or the lighting that I put because that wasn't the default lighting the lighting that I put or like the what's it call LW who knows it was too bright and it was kind of oversaturating my picture so I didn't like that so I went back in and I chose a different lighting Right now, I'm just trying to find a good angle to take a picture from. Now, I I think I'm going to zoom out all the way and zoom back in because her edges ain't looking right. And you can't take a picture with the edges looking busty. And I don't know what it's called, but like sometimes if things don't appear right when you're zoomed in, if you zoom out really far and then come back in, they'll be fine. I don't, I don't know what it does, but it just fixes it. For me anyway, I don't know about anyone else. So if you're using the default um, Second Life viewer, you're not gonna have all these options for lighting because these options come with um, fire, what is it? Firestorm, <laughs> I almost said firewall, firestorm. So all these lighting options come with firestorm. So if you don't have firestorm, you're not gonna have all these options like the anime lighting and all this other stuff that's in here. So if you want this, like all those options you're gonna have to download firestorm because i don't i only i only use the second life regular viewer when i first got second life so i highly doubt that they have these options and i never took pictures back then so 
I don't think that they have this option with all the lighting. But anyway, so once you find the lighting that you like, you're gonna cycle through the daytime cycles and see what type of lighting you like. It, like, whether it's bright or dark, it changes the shadows and things like that. I'm not an expert. <laughs> this is just what I do. And I usually slide it around until I find lighting that I like, like shadows that I like. Or if I want it to be daytime, midday, nighttime, it, it all depends on what you want. So you have to go through that and filter all that stuff yourself. I can't do that for you. So sometimes I don't like when my avatar looks straight at the camera. So I just use my eye poser to just fix her eyes in the direction that I want her to look, whether it be up, down, side, who knows, who knows. Um, so I usually just play around with that until I find the right angle, I guess, for the eyes. I don't know if eyes have angles, but anyways, that too. <laughs> so, and then I decided her face looked pretty plain and I wanted her to have an expression. So. I'm just going through the expressions to see which one suits this pose the best. And, oh, not that child. Oh no, pick another one. So I think I decided on the like, it's like a muggy kind of face. Like she's mugging you, like get away from me. You see? Yeah, that's my avatar. <laughs> she cute, she cute. Anyway, so once you get that down, your facial expression, then if you still don't like the angle, Oh, see, I'm doing the zoom out thing to fix my edges. But if you still don't like the angle after that, you can fix it. But yeah, you just have to play around with angles and see what you like. Um, to make it easier to zoom in, if you have a PC, you press Control Zero. It's the same thing for Mac, I think. But I think it's Command Zero for the Mac, and it help you can zoom in without that fishbowl look. And if you want to zoom all the way out, I think it's Control Nine or F, um, Command Nine, I think. So yeah. But sometimes I use the arrows too and the camera controls to help me like move um, move around or I use the arrow keys, either one. So right now I'm just trying to get the best angle for the picture. Sometimes objects are in your way like this railing, but it doesn't bother me that much. It's kind of cute, so I just lift it there. Let, did I say lift? I just left it there. <laughs> I cannot talk today but yeah so that's the picture it's pretty cute I'm gonna put all the pictures at the end so you can guys you can guys you guys can see how they came out like the final final result so I believe I took the pose that she's in now I believe I took this picture twice with two different types of lighting because I wasn't sure which lighting I liked or I preferred because they both look good but they give the picture a different look so lighting is a really big thing when it comes to pictures um different lighting can make the same picture look really different and you're gonna see that towards the end when I put all the final ah my leg when I put all the final pictures at the end it's really gonna show so I think that is everything that I have for you guys. I'm not an expert on how to take pictures. I'm not like a super blogger because there are some people like some Second Life bloggers that take great, 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 great pictures. Like I'm talking about pictures and I'm not on that level yet. This is just what I do for my thumbnails or for Flickr. It's just my basic, basic <laughs> way of taking pictures. I'm sure there's more a, a more advanced way, but I don't know. So this is what I do. So yeah. So this is how the pictures came out. I'm just showing you on full screen so you can get the full idea of what they look like. I think they're pretty good. They're cute. If this is high res or what you guys consider high res, then yeah, these are how you take high res pics. But if they're not, I don't know. This is just what I do. So yeah, I like taking second life pics. I like taking. I like taking. <laughs> I like to take second life pics they're fun but yeah if you guys like this video remember to like comment subscribe let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and I will get them to you see you next time bye okay you start hitting me up I hit with the gang. sorry
Yeah, but you is a lame Time to get the most of fame My time is they play Just like the arch of my ring My shooting glued up with the team My shooters that aim We don't got time to be missing Spare your door and submission Yo, got a submission If you want her, better listen If you want her, better listen Bad shot Ain't right at your door We got savages They run up in your home